Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We are The Movie Couple. I'm Wendy. I'm Dustin. And we're about to react to the second trailer to Geostorm. Dustin, did you even see the first one? Um, I did not see the first one. I remember them talking about it on Movie Talk, I think. Yes, I was all about the first one. I've seen parts, like I know I talked about it on Movie Talk because I saw I caught like the second end of it, so this isn't a complete true reaction for me, but it will be for, for you. Me? Um. So I, you know what? I'm not even gonna tell you about the movie. I'll just let even? you know. <laughs> I'll let you know that Gerard Butler is in it. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Let's check it out. Okay, you ready to watch yeah. this? Let's watch this. Senate committee now here from Jacob Lawson. This part Pilot I didn't ISS see. Chief Coordinator, may the record reflect that he was nearly one hour late. Yeah, sorry about that. I literally had to fly in from outer space. <laughs> Thanks to the system of satellites, natural disasters have become a thing of the past. What? We can control our weather. Cool, right? That's kind of cool. One of our thermospheric satellites malfunctioned over Afghanistan. So your proposal is what? We shut down all satellites. I don't need to remind all of you how many people died from catastrophic climate conditions. Make sure there's no further Day after reasons. tomorrow. Are you going back up to space? I'm coming back. I promise. Aww. Have a safe trip, sir. Just don't touch anything. <laughs> That's a job. Go to space. All by himself, it looks like. The Jake Lawson? You look... Much older than I would have thought. <laughs> I mean, you look good. Am I getting fired? <laughs> My access has been blocked. So satellite has a bad con, that happens. Not a satellite. Oh. This wasn't a malfunction. Oh, oh. It was intentional. Wait, what was that? Was that hail? I think that was hail going through weather events on a global scale. A geostorm. <laughs> There it is. The Geostorm. We have to shut the system down. Oh, okay. As the kill coach is the president. I need your help. You're soliciting a secret service agent. Seriously? We're kidnapping the president with huh. a self-driving cat. <laughs> this movie is ridiculous. Jake, if you can't stop it, no one can. Interesting. You realize you're committing treason? Oh, yeah, I kidnapped the president. I've stolen state secrets. Yeah, anything I'm forgetting, honey? Honey. Oh, well. <laughs> Marry her. <laughs> what do you say at the end? Marry her. Marry her. Because <laughs> she she's probably like one of those kick ass girls that gotcha. you just like. Oh, she my seems gosh. like a Miss Do It All. So, what do you think? I think it looks like a combination of every kind of disaster movie that we've ever seen with a little bit of Olympus Has Fallen or whatever, yes. the, all those presidents. But if you took all of those, threw it into the middle, and then be like, oh, right, here's our movie of Day After Tomorrow with a, um, what is it called? Armageddon. With Armageddon with mixed with. Deep Impact. And I'm like, holy cow. It seems like it's going to be one of those popcorn kind of flicks, action movies. Exactly. I don't expect it to have any, you know, really deep acting or deep nope. script. Just action, the world's going to explode, massive destruction yeah. kind of a thing. Yeah. So, and it looks like fun. Yeah, pretty much. It's basically what I thought, too, because I caught the second half of that trailer, and I was like, you know what? This movie is so ridiculous, like I said earlier, that I can be into it because it's not one of those movies. It's like a... I know it's coming out in October, but I feel like it's one of those things where where you just go and have a good time, yuck it up at this mm -hmm. stupid, ridiculous situations that'll probably never happen, uh, you know. And probably and, a few. What is that? Jumping the shark moments. Right, and then those like horrible one liners that oh that's always in these movies. But like, I've always been into disaster movies. Uh. They're just like fun to watch, like San Andrea, yeah. Deep Impact. Uh, I don't know if Armageddon really counts as like a disaster movie. Yeah. I, I, I guess I guess it kind of does. Day after tomorrow. But what always drives these movies is not the fact that it's just um, a disaster movie, but it's usually the character interaction with each other. Mm -hmm. How much you fall in love with just hanging out with these characters and having fun. Yeah. So we're going to see if they can achieve that because you can never really tell 
that kind of that part of the movie mm -hmm. from the trailer. Yeah. Unless they specifically show it. I mean, so this, this movie could be is a disaster movie, so it could be either <laughs> disastrous or it could be just a lot of fun. I think it's gonna honestly be a little bit of both because it's so it's so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But you know, anyways, I had fun watching it. The first one was better. I'll be honest. the The first trailer was so much better. Like this one is, is honestly subpar compared to the first one. Oh really? Yeah, we'll watch the first one afterwards. Um, but yeah. Well, you guys, that's it for this reaction. Go ahead and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, let us know what your favorite disaster movie oh, is. Yeah. And maybe if you haven't seen it, we will give it a watch. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.